What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to give you one of my favorite money plays from the Gun Bunch using a new concept that I'm really wrestling with and thinking it's going to be very, very effective in Madden 22. So uh, this comes to us out of the New England Patriots playbook. Now, this specific passing concept is just found in a couple of different bunch playbooks, but New England is the best uh, playbook in the game in my opinion so if you've not already gotten my new england patriots offensive guide you can get that down in the description um, it actually gives you uh the guide for the entire playbook so not just one formation but we actually go in depth about every single formation but that being said i actually do also have an ebook on the gun bunch specifically if you want to get the gun bunch specific ebook that's going to be down in the description as well but the play we're going to be going over in this video is we are going to be going over the Pat's Curl Flat. Now, I think this play is one of the most effective and versatile passing concepts that you can use in Madden 21 and ultimately in Madden 22. So uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Every day we upload videos that can help you get better at Madden 21 and at Madden 22. But this concept right here has been good for years in Madden. And it's basically a smash concept how we're going to run this. So I have my cloud flats on 30 yards, and I have my curl flats on uh, 10, and my hook curls on 10. And so you're going to see that this very simple concept, we're just going to focus on this three-man route combination on the left. Um, what I like to do is I actually like to take Evans and put him on a smart route of, uh, in route. Or another little trick that you can use is you can come out in the bunch flipped. If you have a hot route master and you can basically put him on a post and then flip the play, um, this is another great way to run this. Okay, so but typically he's going to be on a dig or a curl. Um, that is up to you, whatever you want to do on the left side. Okay, but the big thing is the right side. And so we always want to run with our bunch to the wide side of the field, at least 99.9% .9 of the time. That's a good idea. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to streak the tight end. And then we're going to take the circle receiver and put him on a, uh, a little hitch route. And we're going to motion that hitch route out all the way to the numbers and snap the ball. And what you're gonna see is this hitch is going to hold the cloud flat zone inside and it's gonna allow us to be able to throw outside of the cloud flat for an absolute laser in Madden 21. So let me show you this again. These hitch routes are so underrated this year. Most people don't realize how good of a route they are when it comes to holding zone coverage. So I don't have to do anything to R1. You can smart route in, and we'll go over that setup in just a minute. But you'll see this just by holding. I don't even have to. The only problem is they have actually made it to where, for whatever reason, the cover three is just really wonky. I think cover three, honestly, is probably one of the best uh, chances your opponent's going to have. But I'm going to put my guy out here. I'm going to put like a cover four to the bunch side just to show you um, a couple different looks. But what you're going to see is you're going to see because of this motion out, get it all the way up to the numbers, it's going to hold the zones. This flat zone is not going to drift to the outside. It's going to stop, and then that's going to leave a nice window for you to be able to throw this. Now, if you have Gunslinger, it's a lot easier of a throw because you can really zip the ball in there. But let me show you one other little element of this that I really, really like, and that is the smart route of the, the corner route. Now, uh, we've been doing this all year long, but this is really good when you combine it with a hitch route. Okay, It has to be a hitch. Most people like to combine this with an out route or with a flat route. Um, but when you use this motion out hitch route, you're going to see it's going to really hold these flat zones and there's just no one there. There's no one there, literally no one. Um, you're going to be able to do this pretty much against any coverage uh, in the game. But most importantly, you're going to be able to do this against zone coverage. Um, now, as far as man to man, I think honestly man to man is going to do a decent job against this provided that they're shading down and underneath and that they're going to be able to win their press animation on the R1 receiver. But that's why you get something like Slotomatic or something like that. And as you can see, we're basically just dominating the man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, so you're able to beat cover three. You're able to beat cover four. You're able to beat uh, pretty much every defense that they're going to throw your way. The one that I want to just kind of hit on just briefly is this cover two. So if they run a cover two like this, and it's got to be like this, I meaning they're not base aligned, they're just running it just like this right here, um, you're going to see that you're going to have decent success. This is a 30 yard cloud flat, but because we're using the smash concept, it's going to hold that f cloud flat inside, and we can throw to the outside just like that right there. So, really a nice little, um, just a nice little concept. These hitch routes are so so valuable this year 
for pulling the zone coverage. Now I wanna show you this look right here. Um, if they run something like this, this is a base align. If I ever see this, I typically like to leave R1 on his route as a default. Um, you're gonna see it's gonna get him deeper up the field. And as you can see, we're able to throw that and swerve catch it on the sideline really nicely against the cover two defense. Now, what about a base align cover three? Uh, most people, when they're defending bunch, they're not gonna run a base align cover three. This is just from experience because it's gonna make them very vulnerable to um, a slot fade route. But if they do, I wanna show you the same exact concept and just kind of play this out and show you what's gonna happen. You'll see that that, that deep blue is gonna get pulled and you're gonna have a nice window to hit that corner route. So you're gonna be good really any way you slice it with this, but this thing is an amazing, amazing passing concept. I urge you, if you've not added this hitch deep corner and street concept, the smash concept to your playbook yet this season. You can do it out of any, almost any formation in the game, but Bunch is really, really special because it can pair very nicely with the rest of the offense. We're gonna give you some other setups throughout the uh, next couple of videos talking about the gun bunch, but this is an amazing, amazing passing concept. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire New England Patriots offensive guide that covers bunch and U-trips and trips tied in and all of that stuff, you can get that full offensive guide in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the breakdown.